Hi guys, today we're going to react to Chalk Outlines by Ren and Chinchilla. This is a buy me a coffee request from Mike Thomas. Thank you, Mike, for this request. Thank you, Mike. Mike is a, a first time requester. Um, so yeah, thank you for the support. We appreciate it. crawled in I hope that I'm someone else in the morning So take this one Wash it down and you'll be fine And walk around in the floating chalk outline So it goes, let it be In the gallows, a balance on my toes So I can breathe But little by little, bit by bit I push it back It never ceases to amaze me how well he utilizes what you wouldn't think a musician would utilize. Ren doesn't think outside the box. I think he lives outside the box. He took this scenario with the hallway, a, a building or, or a corridor under construction, and used what would be considered by musicians as very poor acoustics. He used it to, to the advantage of the song. He managed to make it work with his singing and all the sounds, all the, the foleys and the sounds that you hear, it's, it's all a part of the experience. The pacing on the ground and, and, and uh, the rumbling in the background, even the way he opened the chair and he moved the guitar. And even before he played, before the music started, the music started. It's all part of the experience. I just love it when he does that. It's so, so much more beyond the song and the performance. His voice, again, is, is phenomenal. He's a phenomenal singer. You coined the term, uh, Ren is a musical Swiss army knife. Yeah, he's always that. It's just amazing. The thing about Ren, it's just, he's got this like, what I would call a cinematic mind. His vision, you know, for these videos and, and all the rest of it. On his channel, this was uh, listed as live. And I think what is meant by that is that they shoot it live in a one take. And that's what they call live in this case, if you know what I mean. It's a, a somewhat acoustic, not exactly acoustic. I mean, he's playing an electric guitar, but it has an acoustic feel, um, this whole setup. It's bare. And what did you call it? The rumbling sound at the beginning. It almost had like a like an ominous feel to it. So it already kind of perked my ears and, and my mind going, okay, well, what's going, what's going to happen here? And then as soon as he starts singing, his voice, not only has he 
got a beautiful voice, but there's just so much pain in it. And you can't help but feel it as soon as he starts singing. You feel for him, you feel with him. He just connects immediately he has that skill he communicates easily beautifully and directly with the audience every friggin time it never ceases to amaze me how he's not afraid to move away from the safety of the studio and incorporate all these new elements in the sound of his music it's that's saying a lot I don't think I've ever seen an artist perform quite like that there might be artists that perform like that but I haven't come across them and specifically haven't come across an artist that does it perfect every time I think that's his thing yeah. you know like yeah. uh, you know coming from busking and and playing around and experimenting with sound yeah. and uh, yeah I think he worked out that this is where he feels he's at his best and again there's just something so heart-wrenching in the way that he communicates with his voice and And I don't know, it's just so freaking beautiful. It's, um, you know, you said he's not afraid. And the first thing that popped into my mind is that he's not afraid to bear his soul to the audience, to the listener. He is straight away saying, this is me. This is my life. Take a look. Do with it as you will. He's just sharing. Just amazing. It looks spontaneous, but it's not. There's so much science that goes into that. So, so, much, so many calculations probably go into that. To get that sound that he wants just amazing i think this yeah. this preparation i would call it preparation um you know you could you could look at it as a science but to me this is all art you know yeah just, it's, it could be easy for him to to reach those conclusions that it's okay to shoot in a place like that the sound will come out crisp and fine to him it's easy but to me at least it feels like uh it's courageous of him to move away from the music studio where they can engineer his sound Don't forget, he, he pretty much personifies indie, you know, independent yeah. artist. Um, so that's, that's exactly where we come from in film. So we know how it is. It's like you have to constantly problem solve. You have to pivot all the time, find solutions to, to different things because you don't have money to throw at it. For him to take it to a studio, uh, you know, and, and do it that way. So he, he uses what he has and he maximizes everything. Please talk out loud. Sertraline and a sip of serotonin Don't cry cause there's a pill for everything Take this one, wash it down Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
these choke out rhymes. Wow, beautiful. I love it when this happens. It's like artists, specifically extremely talented artists, they can read each other's frequencies. They can, I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if Ren and Chinchilla knew that they could, that they could make something beautiful between one another without even speaking to each other. It, it won't surprise me because the intensity of her beautiful voice and the texture and, and the power behind it uh, combined with his voice, it's like witnessing gene splicing. It's like a perfect helix of two beautiful voices and two different signatures of energy intertwining and just bringing this beautiful song into being. I'll take a few listens to really appreciate what, what I just witnessed there, but wow, what that was an experience. It's like a perfect storm. It's like they fit beautifully together. Um, it looked like they were giving each other, you know, the space necessary to convey what they wanted to convey. And there's just so much pain behind this song, behind the way they perform it. When they started harmonizing, I got goosebumps that wouldn't stop. You know, it just kept going until the end. And when she was kind of belting, like almost, like not even a scream, it was almost like a like a screech. She was almost crying it, you know, crying the song rather than shouting it. The goosebumps got even more, like even stronger. It was just like, wow, this is so freaking good. She's got a beautiful voice, and Ren is Ren. <laughs> you know, I don't know, I don't know what more we can say about this guy. He is amazing. Everything about this song is beautiful. The lyrics is just they hit hard, and even though the overall theme or message of the song it's not something we haven't heard before it still hits anew you know it's like this is a new thing it the way they perform it just it just gets you like it's the first time it's yeah. like it almost brought tears to my eyes the way that they were singing it together it's just like wow so emotional so friggin gorgeous love yeah. this song yeah and it's fairly raw the way they do it very Ren very is wrong. telling it he keeps telling you and they both tell you and and this this is us we're bringing you ourselves it's completely authentic that's why i think that that it has to do with the fact that the he stopped the guitar company and, and they both went into it just with their singing the a cappella, yeah he tells the, uh, the the viewer this is us this is a part of ourselves i think that's that the, the entire setup contributes to that level of authenticity it's not just a beautiful song, it's also a true story. Yeah, their white attire, uh, both of them, made me think about uh, mental patients, the way mental patients mm -hmm. are dressed. It's just, that's uh, kind of the idea, yeah. Yeah. Regarding the lyrics, mm. uh, there's a lot there to unpack. Uh, oh, just, yeah, yeah but, but just uh, just an overall opinion, the, the name of the song, Chalk Outlines, and the fact that they're trapped in Chalk Outlines, you can interpret it as as being uh, trapped, like uh, literally trapped in an outline that that that, that defines their life. And also mm -hmm. chalk outlines, which is usually how you mark a dead body on the floor. It is really about this, the struggle and um, I guess anxiety that comes with taking drugs, pills, medicine, meds, you know, to manage issues, whether uh, medical, psychological, um, to manage pain and how to somehow get out of it there's like the theme of depression and anxiety and the use of medication to cope with those types of issues is what this song is about like you said uh, you know the the chalk outlines is, is is being the feeling of being trapped in this uh, um, sort of ongoing cycle where you feel bad for whatever reason you know you have pain you have this you take this this drug and i think he also says it in the lyrics at one point that it's basically replacing one and one sort of addiction or one problem for another. Yeah. Yeah. It offers relief or sedation, it maybe uh, numbs the pain a little bit, but it never offers a cure. If you're inducing these things into your body and you're trapped in that cycle, you either feel terrible because of your condition or you feel terrible because of taking these pills and drugs. Because it's not a cure, it's just management. It's to yeah. manage something. And when you do that, you create a new problem. So it's a tough one. Yeah. The line that says, um, so take this one, wash it down, and you'll be fine. Then walk around in a floating chalk outline. You know, again, you can take the chalk outline thing either way. You can walk around like a like a dead body pretty much. You're a zombie now. Um, 
or you, you're just trapped in this, this ongoing cycle where you need to keep taking these to manage this thing every day. The pre-chorus goes to, um, you know, but so it goes, let it be in the gallows. I balanced on my toes so I can breathe. So he's got a noose around his neck. He's, he's holding on on his toes just so he can breathe. But but this is what these pills are. You know, they, it's like they provide some sort of a, a relief from something, but it's it's just yeah. as close to killing yourself as, as something else. The line I was referring to before is... Um, he says, little by little, bit by bit, I push it back down with a new habit. So a new habit, you know, now he's, he's addicted to these drugs, um, but now he's that, not yeah. feeling depressed anymore or yeah. in pain or whatever, but yeah. a new problem replaces yeah. an old one. There was a beautiful line in there that said, I'll bury myself with a great big smile. So uh, oblivious to the fact that his problems weren't solved, they were just disguised as something else. It's pushing the and pain I, away, not resolving it. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess once you're sort of under the influence of those uh, drugs, you don't care yeah. at the time. Yeah. And um, when Chinchilla started singing, she straight away got uh, very specific. Um, she mentioned uh, sertraline and a sip of serotonin, which is uh, uh, basically a different name for uh, Zoloft, I think. Um, so again, you know, antidepressant. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, sort of verified um, that at that point. Yeah. Well, she, I, she followed it with, uh, don't cry because there's a pill for everything. Yeah. You know, take this one, wash it down, you'll be fine. The feeling goes and you draw a chalk outline. Yeah, well, we, I, it just made me think about uh, how uh, little, actually how, how I know nothing about her backstory. I take it she uh, didn't collaborate with Ren just to make good music. It wouldn't surprise me if they have more in common. Uh, regarding their backstories but yeah it just makes me curious to find out more about her it's such a perfect day take it just in case i'm scared of being okay because all things change all things change it's such a perfect day it's a beautiful shame i'm scared of being okay because all things change so there's also like this fear of change it's like you you are sick but you are not sure if you want to get better and break out of it because it's all you know yeah, especially with Ren, as we know, you know, he was sick for a long, long time. I mean, he might still be to some extent. And and there's this fear of of the unknown. You know, if you if you get well, all of a sudden you have to face new challenges. Yeah. So yeah. you're kind of so used to facing these ones. Yeah. And the, the absolute final line of the song, it says erase ourselves in these chalk outlines. To me, that that line can go two ways. It could be erase ourselves in these chalk outlines as in we we erase our personalities and all that when we take the pills. But it also, chalk outlines, it's chalk. It's something that can be erased. So you can erase the, the chalk outline and break out of it and, you know, make a, a different future for yourself. So there's maybe a little bit of, of optimism, maybe some hope in this, even if it's not necessarily intended. That's what sort of I got out of it. Yeah. Uh, the, the pills offer s- somewhat of an instant solution to, to what ails them at the, at that moment. Even if they want to break free from that vicious circle, it's super easy. You know, take a pill and you stop feeling bad. The easy path is always there. And I think that's the, that's the challenge. That's the true challenge of, of, uh, of shaking off a habit like that and pursuing something that will actually cure you from your ailment. It's a very easy addiction to fall into. I just have mad respect for him as an artist. Just amazing. He just says artist to me, true artist. Yeah, he's a true master of his craft. He he holds nothing back. He always gives you himself. There's nothing doctor, there's nothing polished about what he does. It sounds perfect because he's he's super proficient, but he never he never tries to put on a show. It's just himself. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what connects, uh, uh, you know, with his audience so much. That, that's why he connects so well with, with people, yeah. because he's uh, just so genuine and exposes so much of himself and tells you the story and lets you in. It translates that way. This sort of honesty that, that comes with it makes it all the more fantastic. I'd wager that if you have the tools to become an artist like that, then doing what he does will probably help you a lot more than some pill. Thanks again, Mike Thomas, for this request. Uh, first of many, I hope. And um, yeah, just a fantastic one. We love Ren. So yeah, anytime we get a request for Ren, we are happy. So thanks again. We appreciate the support.
Yeah, thank you, Mike Thomas, for this uh, request. And thank you for introducing us to Chinchilla. This is the first time I've heard her sing. We enjoyed it very much. Uh, keep them coming, please. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the little bell icon so you'll get notified on all our future videos. If you have a request you'd like bumped up the line, please make it through Buy Me a Coffee. All contributions are, of course, very much appreciated. Thank you all for sticking with us. Thank you all for your time. Thank you, guys. We appreciate all the support coming our way. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a couple of days with a new episode. We hope to see you all then. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye.